Working from home can be a wonderful and relaxing way to work, unless you're not quite set up to make it happen seamlessly. By now, you probably have your work set up all ready to go, but just in case you're still trying to find your footing, we asked some of our viewers and readers what apps and accessories they use to make working from home a better experience. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Now, a lot of the things mentioned in this video were recommended to us from you, and I'll try to throw in a few things that I'm doing to help streamline my work from home setup. But starting off with some apps, we have the obvious Microsoft Teams and Slack for communicating with your teams at work, but another helpful app is Quip. Let's just say you're a heavy Salesforce user. Quip helps bring slides, sheets, and chat for your team, all with important data and Salesforce numbers built right in. This eliminates having to bounce back and forth between websites and apps and just kind of gives you a one-stop shop for all of your work. You can find Quip on iOS and macOS, and there are different pricing options for you and your team's needs. Another user recommendation is Tot. Tot is meant to be a simple, out-of-the-way, ready-when-you-need-it text aggregator for your notes and lists. If you're a Stickies person, or maybe you use the actual Stickies app on your Mac, or you use text edit to write out a bunch of quick notes and text, Tot can replace all of that for you in one neat and tidy app. Each colored circle up at the top can harbor different notes and color coded so that you can easily jump to the appropriate note when you need it. The app offers support for Markdown, takes advantage of dark mode, and much more. It's free in the Mac App Store if you want to give it a shot. Our next recommendation is one that I could not get a chance to test out, but a couple of you swore by it, and if the demo is true, then this app could be a game changer for some of you out there. Crisp, which is spelled with a K, can mute the background noise of your environment during a conference call. So if your household has some noisy children, constantly barking dogs, or whatever the other day-to-day -day sounds might be going on in your background, just flip the mute switch and the app essentially cuts out all the background noise so that everyone else on the call can focus on you and hear you better. I don't know how all of this works, but it seems pretty incredible. You can download the iOS app to call in for conference calls or Zoom meeting calls, and you'll be able to flip that switch whenever you need it, or for video calls, just download the Mac app. There are tons of file sharing services out there like Dropbox, Google Drive, a bunch of them, but if you're looking for something new to use to share large files with your team, maybe check out FileMail. FileMail offers secure file transfers with data encryption, virus scanning, and two-factor authentication for your most sensitive data. You can keep track of where your files have been sent and who opens it, offers fast transfer speeds, and can be downloaded through the web browser, the desktop client, or even on your phone. The prices seem reasonable if working at home is what you're gonna be doing for the next few months and you need something a little bit more streamlined and secure for file transferring, maybe check out FileMail. Now, as far as accessories go, the most common recommendations from everyone seem to be pretty common knowledge at this point, but I'll go through some of them just in case. The first tip that I can offer is if you're used to having multiple monitors and you happen to have an iPad handy, take advantage of Apple's sidecar feature. This feature on macOS lets you directly extend your Mac desktop to an iPad, making it the perfect external wireless monitor. It's kind of incredible how well it really does work, especially wirelessly. And if you have an iPad and a Mac that supports this feature, I highly recommend trying it. Now, if you do not have any devices that are compatible for this feature, there are other ways to use your iPad as an external display, like downloading the app Duet Display or Luna Display. We did make a video already on how Luna Display works, but if you're interested in checking that out, you can click the link in the top right corner. These next few tips are also pretty well known, but still worth mentioning if you're now working from home. A solid pair of noise canceling headphones can be a godsend if you're in a noisy household. So pick up something like the AirPods Pro, Beat Solo Pro, Bose HD 700, or Sony WH-1000 Mark III's. The reason why I mentioned those specific pairs are because those are ones that I have tested out. Personally, I've been switching back and forth between the AirPods Pro and the Sony WH-1000 Mark III for over-ear headphones until I moved down to the basement here full time because it's pretty much soundproof and I can use external monitors instead. Also, invest in a solid keyboard and mouse combination. Um, I personally really like the ergonomic line from Logitech, so that includes the MX Ergo mouse. 
yes, it has a trackball, and yes, it's awesome. It holds your hand in this super comfortable position, very ergonomic way to prevent any pain or carpal tunnel in your wrists, and you can match it up with the MX Ergo keyboard, which I do like, but know that your typing abilities will take a hit. You're gonna slow down a little bit, and that might not be the best time to do that, but the keyboard has a unique design, so it's probably going to take some time to get used to. For now, I switched back to the Magic Keyboard 2, and then I just recently pulled out the uh, Logitech MX Keys, which I really do like, so I'll leave links in the description down below for some keyboards that you might wanna check out. So that's it. These are some apps and accessories that were recommended by you all because it's what you are currently using to work from home and get through this quarantine like we all have to and do our part. I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below, what you're all using as far as apps and accessories. Just go ahead and let me know in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.